Alright, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up Microsoft SkyDrive to synchronize um, your desktop or your documents or your pictures um, that you save normally to your computer um, to the SkyDrive so that they'll show up on any other computer with your SkyDrive or on your um, Windows phone or on your Windows tablet. So let's get started here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is open up my SkyDrive folder. And then I'm also going to open up my user profile folder that has all my different folders in it for desktop, downloads, my favorites, my music, all that stuff. So first thing you're going to do is in your SkyDrive folder is you're going to make a new folder to represent the folder you're going to uh, copy over from your profile. So we're going to go ahead and do desktop. So I made my desktop folder. And here's how simple this is. All you have to do is right click on desktop go to properties and then there's a tab called location select that and then click move and what you're gonna do is move your folder or move the pointer of your desktop to the SkyDrive folder and click select folder then click OK and it's going to prompt you um, if you want to move all your files you definitely want to do this so we're going to go ahead and click yes and it's going to start moving all my files from the desktop. Now the reason this is so critical is if you don't do this um, your stuff will no longer show on your desktop. Um, they'll still be there in a folder called desktop but you'll still have to manually copy them. Okay so one issue I had with my desktop which you may run into is um, SkyDrive only supports files um, up to two gigabytes in size. For the most part, you're not going to run into the issue. Um, but if I go down here, SkyDrive is currently syncing. Click View Sync Problems. Um, there's a ISO image that was too big on my desktop saying this will not synchronize, which is fine. Uh, you may not necessarily want your um, huge download or a um, large file filling up your SkyDrive. So once the copying finishes, you can go to your desktop and you'll see everything is is there and then when you go into your SkyDrive folder you'll notice that everything matches over and you'll see here the little check marks next to the files that have successfully synced up uh, the X on that one because that one will not uh, synchronize which is fine and then we can do the same thing to all of our folders so we can go back to SkyDrive open up our profile and uh, we can do let's say the pictures folder we'll go to properties location and we're going to go ahead and move to SkyDrive pictures select folder and yes we do want to move all the files so we're going to click yes on that and it'll do the same process and make sure all of our files are moved over now, the great thing about this now is when you click on start and open this, these are all your pictures. And you can see here they're transferring or syncing with SkyDrive. And here's actually some uh, here's actually some screenshots from my Windows phone which are syncing currently into my desktop pictures. So this really simplifies your world. I mean, anything I can hook into the SkyDrive um, are all together. So my phone has pictures, my desktop has pictures, my laptop has pictures, my tablet has pictures. There's no longer four different pictures folders that I have to maintain. There's one, one main file and it's on the SkyDrive. The other great thing is from any computer, I can log in to um, SkyDrive. I'll go ahead and show this here to you. You can just go to skydrive.com or skydrive.live.com. It will automatically, if you're, or not automatically, you, um, you'll you need to log in with your Windows Live account and it will bring up all your synchronized items. And so we can see here, if we go to pictures, it is syncing all of those pictures to the SkyDrive. So I have access to my desktop from anywhere. Now there's one more great feature about SkyDrive as well. 
when I installed SkyDrive on my computer, I gave it permission to access my entire computer. Um, this may or may not be the best for you, um, depending on if you have sensitive data on your computer. But in my case, um, I wanted the functionality of this. So I have all my files here that are saved on the SkyDrive, um, being synchronized and backed up. But then I also have the ability to select any PC that is attached to that. And I can go directly into the C drive and I can go and browse through all of the files on that computer. So I never have to worry about being away from my computer and um, leaving an important file at home. And like I said, the, the best feature is that I now have a single desktop document, pictures, videos, favorites. I mean, you can synchronize any of these folders here as long as it lets you change the uh, stored location of that target. So, hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching.